Now that we know that the Bad Batch crew and Echo are headed straight to Tantus, how do you think the finale is going to end? It's either just going to be the Bad Batch crew going in there solo and possibly not coming out alive, or it's going to include reinforcements from Captain Rex and his clone network group, and even then the Bad Batch crew could still not make it out alive. If the CX Assassin clone does turn out to be Cody, and then Echo, Hauser, and Cody all die on Tantus, I could definitely see that being a reason for Rex to kind of give up the whole clone resistance stream and kind of put him on the path to where we see him in Rebels. But it's pretty crazy to think for the entire Bad Batch crew, we have no idea if any of them are going to make it out of this Tantus battle. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if the entire Bad Batch crew doesn't make it out of this finale and then Omega goes off with Asajj and trains to be a Jedi or something. And I'm also really interested to see what happens to all of the clones that are trapped on Tantus. And if any of them do end up surviving, I wonder what they'll end up doing because we really haven't seen many clone troopers in the original trilogy era. I feel like the Bad Batch series could really benefit from an epilogue scene at the end of the final episode. While I know the ending is probably not going to go well for any of our dear Bad Batch members, I really do hope that there is some feeling of hope, but it's going to be pretty hard because this era of Star Wars is really just the beginning of the Empire's rule. There's definitely a lot to wrap up in season three and it's going to be interesting to see how it all gets done. Hopefully the last episode is a longer one. But either way, I'm really sad that the series is indeed ending. Be sure to let us know in the comments how you think the finale is going to play out.